Also on the line, we've uh, got uh, Chibamba uh, Chitongo right here. He's a poet and is joining in the conversation right here on The Weekend Drive. Chibamba, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm absolutely fine. Um, I've got Kama in studio and I was asking about independence and I would direct the question to you as well with regards to what independence means to you before we get into the midst of your poetry as well. That's a very good question. Well, independence to me has got two meanings. There is one that is national in nature, which is that Zambia was in bondage for quite some time. We were colonized and eventually we achieved our freedom. Then secondly, mm -hmm. I am a Christian. So I was also set free from my bondage and slavery to sin. So independence is both physical and spiritual for me. Yeah. So as we speak from your end, you feel you are independent as well as Kama? Pardon? From your thoughts, do you think you are independent as we speak right about now? Yes, I am very much independent. I am very mm, independent. With the energy, with the energy, the response is coming with a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I will be engaging you in, in a while. Just let, let, let me chat to um, uh, Kama and uh, get to know up close and personal as we will be doing so to um, uh, Chibamba as well. Kama, um, uh, you are a singer and you've given us uh, a brilliant song titled Voicemail. Uh, but would want to know uh, you up close and personal by you giving us a brief of who exactly you are. Um, Kama is a very vibrant girl. Um, my, actually, my names are Jemima Kama, Mlewa Matak, like I have four names. Um, I have a daughter who's three years old who I love so much. My relationship with my mother is super great. My mother supports me, and I have, uh, like, I, I, I wouldn't brag, but I have fans actually who follow me and who were so much educated about this this interview. Um, I started my music back in 2017, but I started releasing music in 2019. Personally, worked with Google, and uh, right now I have um, I have been working with uh, CB and Simwala Levels. All right. Yes. What, what What do you preach in your music? What is the message behind your music? Um, my music basically talks about love. It's love and pain. Like that's where uh, that's where I get to express myself as a person who's been hurt so many times. All right. Yes. Speaking of pain, bring it down to the conversation of independence. Uh, we have freedom fighters who went through hell. They went through um, a couple of things for the country Zambia to be free today. Um, uh, with that pain that they went through as a youth, what extract? What visible lessons um, uh, do you extract when you look at the um, uh, freedom struggle that these uh, freedom fighters went through? Well, um, according to my to my own mentality, like no matter how hard the situation is, you would always break through because it wasn't easy. It's a nation, mm -hmm. and uh, so it wasn't easy with the people that came forth. There were a lot of freedom fighters. Only few are mentioned. So uh, it helps uh, to understand your capability in fighting for yourself, fighting for your freedom. We have a lot of different bondages, you know, like family and whatnot, whatever comes with it. So um, I basically think uh, it really helps a lot. It might be just something like about the nation, but when you're going through a lot and you just look look at it, like you look back, uh, it really, really helps. It All right. Talks about, it talks about a lot of things. Mm. Shabamba, bringing you on board with regards to the same question that I did post to um, Kama. We have freedom fighters who fought for this very country and they were young, they were vibrant to ensure that Zambia um, gets that independence that um, it has now. Uh, as a young person, what lessons have you extracted from the independence struggle? I think one of the major lessons I have learned is that freedom has a cost. And when I look back at the freedom fighters, our forefathers, what I see is them giving up most of the privileges that they had. Standing up to the colonizers wasn't an easy task. It took a lot of things away from them. And so today as a young person, as I continue to dream to achieve my goals, I have to give up certain things. I have to sacrifice time. I have to invest. I have to put in work. I have to sweat. So to achieve something in life, there is a price attached to it. And I have to be ready mm -hmm. to pay that. Yeah. All right. And speaking of readiness, I'm sure you are ready to give us your first piece of poem right here on the show right about now. 
Definitely, I am. <laughs> Go ahead with uh, that poem, indeed. The floor is all, all right. yours. Thank you. The poem is titled Freedom. <clears throat> people put people in places of power, purposely perceiving them pious. They shrink from responsibilities. Governance is a covenant sealed with the blood of our forefathers, killed with the flood of our four cutters. Will their death be in vain like dead blood cells? Will their breath remain? Again, that fails to address the nakedness of an unclothed democracy. Who can guess the recklessness of an opposed demography? We can break free from within and let the past grant us insight on what to avoid and uphold, how to have woes from old give birth to liberative euphoria. This narrative is all that from our past we've learned, from our cuts we bled, our identity lost in its blessed trust, our identity lost in its blessed trust. Never again to be defeated, never again to be repeated. Freedom of the mind is freedom of the land, born and raised in the motherland. All my days have been living in such tranquility remains a point of reference. Vast nobility we aim for, we parade. We don't have to be Manchester to be united. We don't have to be ancestors to be ignited. With the passion to preserve our children and bliss. With the passion to preserve our freedom and bliss. One Zambia, one nation, one harbor, one message. One message. I'm snapping right about now. I'm snapping. We don't have to be Manchester to be united we don't have it eh? no 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 we don't have to be <laughs> we can my, be my united personal guitar is here. My, my personal guitar is here Arizona is also saying well at that awesome piece of poem um, you've shared with us what was running through your mind as you were writing that uh, poem as I was writing this poem I realized that Zambia has been caught for a long time in the thought that Whatever wrong things are happening in our country now, the goals that we have failed to achieve is because we were colonized. And so we still blame the colonizers for our own failures. So in this piece, I'm advancing the thought that we need freedom, not only physically, but in our thinking. If we can begin to think independently, if you can see that right now, the goals that we have can be achieved despite our past, we are going to achieve so much. And that is the major point I was driving across in that particular piece. All right, awesome. As I let you go, um, Chibamba, um, what are your concluding uh, thoughts on our conversation surrounding independence this afternoon? My concluding thoughts are that, first of all, each and every person that is listening right now has the ability to be free in their thinking. You don't have to be dependent on other people in order for you to achieve the goals that you have. The greatness of Zambia is dependent on each and every one of us. And our thinking is what will help us to achieve those goals. Thank you. All right. That is the voice of uh, Chibamba Chisongo, um, who joined in the conversation of the way from Kukopala. Uh, how's Kukopala, by the way, before you go? <laughs> Kukopala is doing fine. It's just hot here. It's getting very hot. <laughs> Servus Lusaka, yeah. thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for giving me this platform. Awesome. It is live radio 97.3 FM, and we are chatting to Chibamba Chisongo, who is a poet, and uh, you should be on the lookout for his poems okay. right on this very platform. I uh, so will be engaging him more often, uh, besides having him on this special broadcast on live radio 97.3 FM. But in studio,